your bite-sized daily roundup of the biggest news from the world of film. This is The Daily Reel with Van Connor. Good morning, it's Tuesday, January 19th. 20 years to the day since Donnie Darko premiered at the Sundance Film Festival and the day on which two Stone Cold classics were released, with Ron Underwood's franchise launching Creature Feature Tremors opening in 1990 and Robert Rodriguez's From Dust Till Dawn arriving 25 years ago in 1996. Happy birthday wishes go out today to the one and only Dolly Parton, who shares the date with La La Land director Damien Chazelle, Percy Jackson star Logan Lerman, and comedian Rob Delaney. Here's today's news. Jason Bourne himself, actor Matt Damon, looks set to appear in Taika Waititi's forthcoming Marvel sequel, Thor Love and Thunder. The Forkwell, or Thorquel, uh, thank you, is currently filming out in Sydney, Australia, where the Oscar-winning actor and his family were recently eyed departing a private jet. Damon is also said to be quarantining, according to folks on the ground, heavily lending credence to the idea that the Martian star is gearing up for filming. Though there's no official confirmation or word on who Damon might play, it's worth noting that the actor did make a surprise appearance in the previous film, Thor Ragnarok, as an actor portraying Loki in an autobiographical play the trickster had staged in Asgard. Thor 4, more Thor, or Thor Love and Thunder as it's better known, is currently eyeing a May 6th, 2022 release. It'll see the return of Chris Hemsworth's titular and most often swole God of Thunder, alongside Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie, Natalie Portman's newly worthy Jane Foster, and Jamie Alexander as Lady Sif, and will see the crew go up against a new villain in the form of Christian Bale's Gore the God Butcher. You are the savior of Asgard. Tell my story. Build a statue for me. We will build a big statue for you. With my helmet on, with the big bendy horns. Christopher Nolan has led more than 40 key figures from the film industry in writing to UK Chancellor Rishi Sunak, begging the government for more support to save our flailing cinemas. In the letter, the filmmaker said that the COVID-19 pandemic has left British theatres, quote, standing on the edge of an abyss, and say that targeted funding support is urgently required to ensure that future generations can enjoy the magic of cinema. Alongside Nolan, the letter has been signed by, amongst others, Richard Curtis, Gareth Edwards, Stephen Fry, Jane Goldman, Paul Greengrass, Armando Iannucci, Jude Law, Steve McQueen, Sam Mendes, Guy Ritchie, Ridley Scott, Matthew Vaughan, and Edgar Wright. Though the UK's ruling Conservative Party has provided marginal support for certain cinemas, said funding has so far only been offered to single-screen or independent venues, which only represent 20% of the country's movie theatres. The film Filmmakers Group have said that whilst they recognise this support, they fear that it won't be enough, quote, with the challenges being most acute for those larger cinema operators who have not been able to access any tailored funding. The group went on to call the situation extremely precarious and pleaded for urgent action. The UK government has yet to respond. Give me one reason why I shouldn't have my boy here pull your head off. How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil. Disappear. Ta -da! It's Jason Reitman, director of the upcoming legacy sequel Ghostbusters Afterlife and son of original Ghostbusters director Ivan Reitman, has revealed in a recent interview that a screening of the new feature brought his father to tears. My father hasn't been leaving the house much because of COVID, the younger Reitman told Empire magazine, but he took a test, put on a mask, and drove down to the Sony lot to watch the movie with the studio. And after, he cried, and he said, I'm so proud to be your father, and it was one of the great moments of my life. Jason Reitman shot the feature from a screenplay he co-wrote with Gil Keenan, and Ghostbusters Afterlife will star Finn Wolfhard, Carrie Coon, Paul Rudd, and McKenna Grace, alongside returning original Busters Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, Sigourney Weaver, and Annie Potts. It'll spook its way into cinemas worldwide on the 11th of June. Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and 
and cats living together. Mass hysteria. Enough, I get the point. Called a panoply of depravity by the Daily Mail, the horrifying World War II drama The Painted Bird is movie streaming edition today. While over on Freeview, your available cinematic offerings include Armageddon on ITV4, Super 8 and Spy on Film 4, Mystic Pizza on 5 Star, and Hitman Redemption and the Fifth Wave on Sony Movies. The Sky Cinema and Now TV premiere for today is the Canadian sci-fi thriller Volition. This has been The Daily Reel for Tuesday the 19th of January. Keep it cinematic. See you tomorrow. The Daily Reel is a Candy Store production presented by Van Connor and written by Calvin Prickett. All information is correct at the time of writing and source links are in the description for each episode. Don't forget to rate, review and subscribe on all good podcast platforms or ask Alexa to install the Daily Reel skill for your morning flash briefing. Follow the show on social at Daily Reel Pod and we'll be back every weekday. Until then, keep it cinematic. Cinematic.